this is a 3d model and this yeah is the pixel art sprite made from it the same goes for this one recently i needed some animated pixel art my friend makes amazing sprites but she was busy so i went hunting for assets instead i found this insane tool that instantly converts 3d models into animated pixel art sprites it's called godo pixel renderer don't get confused by the name the sprite it creates don't only work in godo you can use them in other engines too like unity the tool itself is made in godo so i guess that's why the developer named it that and it's open source you can download the project files open them in the godo editor go to project export and export it yourself but if you want to support the developer or don't want to compile the executable by yourself you can visit the developers itch.io's page and buy it there you will get both windows and linux executables when you open it up this is how the interface looks let me disable the remap now it looks better using this load button we can load a model but there's already a 3d model included that you can experiment with it comes with a lot of animations let's go with the jump animation then in the output section we have the size the default is 512 by 512 but you can also go with a lower resolution like 256 by 256 next is the export directory by clicking on it you can set the folder where the images will be exported now if i click this export button i'll have my animated pixel art ready in just a few seconds so simple right but if you're not happy with the result there are tons of adjustments you can make for example if you want a background you can set one in the adjustment section we can move the position of our 3d model these buttons let you change the side of the model this way you can export 2d images for every direction and if the model goes off screen just tweak the x and y values to center it next is lightning You've got a key light, fill light and rim light. If everything is off, the model will look dark since there's no light. So make sure at least one is on. You can change its color and intensity. So experiment until you get the result you want. Then in the color adjustment section, you can fine tune your model. If you increase the color steps, you will get more detailed appearance. There are also sliders for sharpness, saturation, value and more. You can play with this to get the perfect look. And finally, there's an option for dithering. I'm not entirely sure what that does. So if you know, let me know in the comments. And if you don't want to do manual adjustments, there's also some presets like high contrast, monochrome, neon and more. And if you don't want to stick with the original colors, that's possible too. Just enable remap. From there, you can create your own custom color palette or choose from the pre-made ones. And remember, this skeleton is just for practice. You can download any 3D model from the internet, load it into this program and convert it into 2D sprites easily. Then just import those sprites into your favorite game engine and start using them.